What's up, Rumble? This is the Card Colony, and Jesus Christ is Lord. And I want to talk about Trevor Bauer for a minute. I'm not exactly sure why I'm bringing this up now. I mean, it's not like it's breaking news, but I just wanted to talk about the scandal that happened. And while I do that, I'll show off some of my Trevor Bauer cards. Usually, you know, people, they show off their cards because they're proud to have them. You know, why would you buy a card that you didn't like? And then when you make a video of it, you show it off and it's pretty cool. But I don't think there's probably too many people who are showing off their Trevor Bauer collection right now. I think most people are probably going and hiding. Like, I can't believe I like Trevor Bauer. But to me, that's pretty lame. Now, I'm a Reds fan, and when I think of Trevor Bauer, I think of what he did for the Reds in 2020. That was absolutely amazing. Dynamite. And I judge him based on what he accomplished on the field as a baseball player. Now, what he does off the field, that's important too. That's very important. But that is a different category. And so I will always respect him as a baseball player because he's never done anything that would cause me to disrespect him. In fact, I really appreciate what he's done for the game of baseball his contributions, his creativity, his honesty. And, you know, it turns out that he has a wild sex life. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't approve of that because I'm a Christian and I don't think you should be beating up people that you sleep with, whether it's uh, consensual or not. You know, I believe in God's design that... You know, we know that you're not supposed to have sex outside of marriage, let alone violent sex <laughs> like that. I mean, come on. But, you know, it's one of the reasons why I'm praying for Trevor Bauer. You know, I'm a man of faith, and I want to see Trevor Bauer come to the Lord. And he's probably in a really dark place right now, so maybe he's more open to the gospel than ever before but I'll tell you what I don't like about this situation you know everyone backpedaling from associating with them and things of that nature and it's like for one the man is innocent until proven guilty like is he been charged with a crime is he gonna go to court and you know is he going to be convicted of something, well, when that happens, then the the judgment is settled. It's final, so to speak. But really, the only thing I can look at and disapprove of at this point is the fact that he's young, wildly successful, rich athlete who is having, you know, very violent (laughs) encounters in his sex life. And uh, if he's doing that, then he's obviously not very fulfilled with his sex life, just having regular sex. (laughs) And, you know, that's not surprising because, I mean, no one is fulfilled. The only thing that actually satisfies and fulfills is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's a fact. So what I'm concerned about, though, What I question, is this all a setup? I mean, who's really the victim here? Is it this woman? Which I'm not saying she's not, because she could be. But it could also be Trevor Bauer. I mean, is it possible that he played right into her hands? Is it possible or likely, will this come out in court, that maybe... This is exactly what she wanted. And she did this, possibly, because she knew it would be a big scandal. She would make tons and tons of money. 
and probably hopes it gets thrown out of court. And she'll just take a settlement and leave with her millions. I mean, that's not far-fetched at all. That's actually very likely to happen. It happens all the time. And so I think that it's very possibly the case. Now, I don't know. But I just got a sneaking suspicion. But we'll see. You know, I hope that that justice prevails here. I I hope that Trevor Bauer's career and life isn't over. I hope he doesn't get so desperate that he contemplates suicide and things like that because he he made a mistake. I, I hope that if he needs help, he, he tries to get it. You know, he's not a horrible person. The fact is, we all have a dark side that we're not proud of. And then we all have redeeming features as well that God has placed inside of us because the gifts of God are without repentance. So I'm still rooting for Trevor Bauer, personally, professionally, not excusing what he did, but I just hope that justice is served and that we just don't go along with the flow and just like Trevor Bauer or not because everyone tells us we should or shouldn't. Like, make up your own mind, you know? As for me personally, I still have a great deal of respect for him as a baseball player. And I'm praying that, Lord willing, this isn't the last chapter for him. And that there'll be some redeeming virtues in this situation as well. And that one way or another, God will get the glory, even for the salvation of his soul. In Jesus' name. So thanks for watching. And whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God.